So keeping in the vein of doing videos on all the plants we offer on the website, I've come to probably this is one of the last ones that I've yet to do a video on, and this is Cardinal Plant, also known as Lobelia Cardinalis. And in today's video, we're going to get right into what this guy does and how it looks. So let's do that. So what's going on, guys? Just from H2O Plants. And yes, we have kind of down to the last couple plants that I think I need to do a video on. So this is Lobelia Cardinalis, and it may look a bit purple, underneath his leaves which looks really cool but once you submerge this guy it will turn completely green so don't get fooled that purple color is only when it's grown above the water in immersed conditions now that's the cool thing about this guy is it can be submersed it'll turn completely light green like a neon green almost if it's above the water at all and just keep its roots wet or the bottom stem uh, wet it will have this beautiful purple undertone so if you have a terrarium paludarium anything like that this guy will do that. It'll also produce red flowers if it ever breaches the surface of the water. Beautiful red flowers. And it is a very easy to grow plant. So it doesn't need a whole lot of light. It's low to medium light. Highlight will, of course, give it a better coloration, but it will be a light green no matter what. Underwater, above the water, it'll get, uh, you know, this purple tinge to it. So just keep that in mind with a brighter light if you had like a terrarium set up or something. Uh, a brighter light will help bring out those purples. Very easy plant to grow. Anywhere between 6 to like 7 pH is good. I I mean, our tanks are about 7.2, 7.4, so it's growing just fine in there. Temperature-wise, 63 all the way up to 82, so wide variety there. It is kind of good for hardier um, kind of tanks. The leaves are somewhat big, so if you have a smaller size like goldfish or cichlids, uh, it would be a little hard for them to tear at these leaves because they're uh, on the bigger side. But if you have a big fish, like a big cichlid or a big goldfish, uh, it, it would easily be plucked off. So if you have a, like a baby or juvenile goldfish, you could probably use these in. But these are primarily used in Dutch aquascapes. And what, what Dutch aquascapes are is it's uh, essentially all stem plants. There's really no driftwood, no rocks. Um, no Anubis, stuff like that. It's all just stem plants. And these guys, because of their bright green and their big leaves, they provide a lot of nice texture. They will only grow about 12 inches tall overall. So, I mean, this is probably about six right now. So about double this size it'll get. But if you kept it trim and you keep trimming, uh, trimming it, it stems out a lot. This one, this is pretty much, other than this little guy right here on the side, this is just one branch or one stem that's all just has all these branches coming out of it. So if you just trim this guy, you know, off and, and, and keep kind of pruning it, it'll just get bushier and bushier as it grows. And you can replant the tops and continue kind of that process going forward. It's it's a very easy plant to grow. I didn't realize how super easy it is until I just literally stuck it in one of our tanks and it just did fine. Uh, the purple leaves, if you were to order from us and get them in, the purple leaves will eventually melt off and the leaves will get smaller, so don't be alarmed if that happens. That's completely normal. Sometimes the stems will go bare down here, but you'll see a bunch of new growth. And the new growth should be a lot shorter, uh, meaning like a lot closer together. So uh, these leaves are fairly far apart, but once it's underwater for a period of time, the leaves are a lot more compact and on top of one another. Um, so it's not as leggy as this looks right here. And overall, just a really good plant. I mean, this could be used, you could use this for either a background plant in a smaller aquarium, a mid-ground plant in, you know, somewhat of a larger aquarium. You could even use it as a foreground plant if you just kept it trimmed. It doesn't grow really quickly, so that's the one good thing about it if you were to do this like as a carpeting plant, even though it's not, like, it's not a carpeting plant in the traditional sense, but because it's stemmy and it, and it has, like, a lot of branches that it'll put out, it's very easy to fill in an area with it if you just keep trimming it and, and just allow it to keep like branching out and forming a nice bush. Um, you could probably have this guy carpet out eventually just because you'll replant all the tops. So it could be a carpeting plant if you wanted it to be as well. So it's very versatile, super easy to grow, looks really good. The bright green is wonderful. I'll insert a picture here that I find, find online for it because I don't have any photos of it being bright green and grown underwater just because we sold the ones that we had grown underwater so this is just newly in so it's you know fresh kind of but it's a really good plant i i like it i want to use it in a future aquarium build i think it's a really cool plant to grow and uh, i think i'm actually i have an idea maybe i'll put this in the paludarium tank and see what what it does but um really cool plant lobelia cardinalis if you have it, leave us a comment down below letting us know what you think, or if you're thinking about getting it, as always, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to check out any of our other videos, you can click right there, and I will see you guys next time.